Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, and in today's video, we are back at it working on the G35 snowplow. So it's getting right around the end of September. Um, the leaves are falling, as you guys can see, quite a bit of leaves already on the ground. So I figured it was time to get the G35 coupe snowplow out of storage. Started right up, absolutely mint. Just had to boost that battery and charge it up because it has been sitting. I did unplug it, but it's still just. Just uh, over time drained out. So what we're going to be doing in today's video is getting the snow plow out of the storage shed. Um, now there was a couple of things last year with the snow plow that I did want to fix. Uh, now one of the things I wanted to do is put sides on the ends of the plow to stop as much roll off as possible. Um, when I was plowing I just get a lot of stuff rolling off the sides that I'd have to go back and uh, clear out. So I'm hoping that if we put some sides on the plow that we're going to prevent uh, as much roll off as possible and one other thing that I did want to do is uh, when I am plowing snow with this car especially with the heavy sticky stuff uh, it would get stuck to the plow and then when I would raise and lower the plow there'd be like a mountain of snow stuck to the actual plow itself um, now which is fine the only problem with that is that at the end of my plow when I go park the car right here where it is drop the plow and then I come out there's like three or four shovels full of snow that I have to clear off of the blade and then throw off to the side here. Now, neither of these are serious problems and I could probably get away without even doing anything, but I figured since the weather is nice, uh, I'd go ahead and tackle this project. And since we haven't been doing very many G35 snowplow videos since, well, I parked this thing uh, for summer, I figured I'd take you guys along for the journey with me. So I'm gonna go ahead, get the snow plow out. Uh, I'm gonna throw it on the tailgate of the Tundra and that's where we're gonna be doing most of our work. I do have just some spare sheet metal just kicking around the garage somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead, dig that out, uh, show you guys how we're gonna make our cardboard templates, uh, cut these pieces, weld them onto the plow and then uh, I'm gonna throw a fresh coat of some gloss red paint and hopefully that's gonna help uh, that's going to help with the stickiness of the snow on the blade. So with that being said, I'm going to cut the clip and we will get back to you guys once the plow is out. And I'll show you guys what we're dealing with here. Alrighty, so this is the snow plow in question. It's a little homemade plow that I bought off Facebook Marketplace for around 700 bucks. Um, kind of chintzy. It needed a little bit of work. This piece right here was welded to the top of this. So I did have a video where it actually snapped off from the mounting bracket, which I had to re-weld. But as it sits right now, the plow is very functional. Now, I initially bought it to put on the rear of the Toyota Tundra. It's a hitch mount plow. Uh, it worked really well at first, but the only problem was the girlfriend drives the Tundra during the day. So if it was a hit really heavy snow plow, I'd have to wait for her to get home. And then even if she was home, I'd have to put on the tire chains, take the plow out of the garage, mount the plow, connect the wiring. So now having the G35, it just stays ready to go. So even if I get home, had a long day, I don't got to dick around with tire chains, mounting the plow, it always stays on the G35. And it initially started out as a joke, but it's actually quite functional. So we're making a few improvements here. So first I'm gonna get some cardboard, make a template, cut out uh, the metal that I need out of just this cheap metal right here, just had that kicking around. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead, wire wheel off all this corrosion here, all this chintzy old paint, put a fresh coat of this gloss fire red uh, and hopefully the glossiness will help with the uh, the sticky snow i'm probably going to use some cooking oil but uh, for now we're going to use this in hopes that it works a little better than it did last year so with that being said i'm going to make my cardboard templates let you guys know what those look like and then i'm just going to probably cut it off camera and uh, show you guys little bits and pieces of the uh, of the process here i know these fabrication videos can get a little boring so i'm just going to hit you with the facts and uh, spare you guys the, the the small talk okay so it took me about five minutes to make these shout outs to hello fresh sponsor your boy if you guys are into that kind of thing um so basically this is what the pieces are gonna look like i had to notch it out a bit for the actual blade here so i'm gonna have to make sure i make that cut 
And then we got a little bit of gaps, but I can always fill those in with weld as we go along. So that is this side. That is this side. Again, we can always fill in those gaps with some weld, but that's pretty much how it's going to be right there. And those are going to be our ends to hopefully prevent, uh, you know, snow rolling off of the ends there. So I'm going to go ahead, transfer these cardboard cutouts onto our metal here. Uh, I'm going to cut this up. Again, not going to show too much of that because it is a slow, dirty process and I'd rather just get it done. Um, then we're going to go ahead, tack everything up onto the plow and uh, weld it out here. I'm pretty pumped. This project is going relatively quickly, so I'm going to see if we can knock this one out within an hour. Alrighty, so our metal is cut. As you can see, I just got this one sitting in here. Um, so that's essentially the idea. So what I'm going to do is start tacking this in here. I'm going to start by tacking the top and bottom corners. And then as I go along for little gaps like this, I'll just lightly tap it with a hammer, tap these gaps all in. And then I don't think I'm going to weld all the way through. I'll do maybe like two nice size tacks every couple inches maybe like two inch tacks every few inches here um, so that's essentially what's going to happen with that so i'm going to bust out the welder i am going to have to clean up um, some of these cuts here they just have metal shavings and stuff and i don't want those falling off and laying around the driveway um, so yeah that's basically what's happening now so i'm going to clean these up bust out the welder and tack these things on here man okay so we got both end pieces tacked on here as you can see we got a little bit of gaps to fill but i'm not too worried about it as long as it keeps a majority of the snow inside the plow and these end pieces don't fall off i'm not too worried about what it looks like so everything's tacked up i'm gonna go ahead grind off the corners where i want to weld uh probably gonna do some welds on the outside and then we'll we'll uh hit the inside as well in the same spots um, so I'm going to go ahead, weld this up, put the camera down. Uh, I'm not too worried about showing exactly how to do this. For those of you guys who know how to weld, this isn't nothing new for you. And for those of you guys who are looking for a video on how to weld, well, I'm just not the guy, man. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead, weld this up real quick, and I'll show you guys the finished product uh, prior to us painting it. Okay, so I decided to weld all the way around on both sides. Not the prettiest welds running a flux core, no gas, uh, dirty material, very crappy prep. However, uh, we are going to be grinding these welds down, making them look nice and pretty. And uh, once we throw some paint on here, I think those will uh, look decent enough to call her a day. I'm going to go ahead, grind everything off. Um, show you guys what it looks like before paint then we're going to take this thing out to the shed I think just to throw some uh, a quick coat of red on it uh, we'll probably hit the front and the parts on the back side where we had to grind down to weld but yeah things are looking pretty good here so I'm going to go ahead grind everything down finish this up probably have a bite to eat for lunch before we uh, start painting but I'm pretty happy with the way things are looking man so I'm going to grind those welds down and uh, show you guys what it looks like Okay, so just ground down the welds quickly. I realized halfway through I really don't care what this looks like. I mean, as long as it's functional, uh, I'm happy. But nonetheless, we ground down the welds. So now what I'm going to do is get this thing down on the ground, wire wheel the whole front of it, uh, get rid of all this pitting and rust and stuff here. I think that's most of the reason why the, the snow is uh, sticking to the front of the blade here. Uh, this is stainless or galvanized steel. This is actual metal. Um, as you can see, it's starting to rust. I was able to weld to it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, throw this thing on the ground, uh, clean it up, and then we'll take it out to the shed and show you guys the process of Okay, so I was able to grind most of the flaking paint off. I'm more so worried about the bottom side here. Uh, this piece here, you can see the paint's coming off mostly anyways. Um, so yeah, I got most of the rusty stuff off. As you can see, I was doing some grinding. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is hit it with some of this rust converter on all of the bare metal spots here. Um, we're going to let that do its thing. I'm going to go in, have a bite uh, to eat for lunch, and then we're going to come out here and then paint this up. So I guess we'll tape a little bit here. So this should theoretically make all of my rusty parts uh this will soak into it and then turn them black oh, we'll see how this works i've used this a few times with 
mixed results on different projects. Okay, so hopefully when we come back out, this stuff is all, all black here. Alrighty, so the rust reformer has dried and it's made most of the rust black. Um, that little bit of red that you're seeing in the light there is actually still paint, but the bare metal where it was rusted is all reformed. So next up, we're going to be hitting it with some of this Faya Red. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do a couple of coats on the front. Maybe do another quick coat on the back just to make it look pretty. And uh, that's going to be pretty much it, man. So once we get a couple of coats on here, I'm going to put down the... Uh, I'll turn back on the camera and show you guys what it looks and while I was waiting for the first coat to dry I ended up uh, just painting the uh, Ford escape wheels here as you can see matte black didn't bother tape taking them off taping up the brakes or anything I just just sent it I mean what the hell man it's the plow truck just wanted it to look a little more decent and uh, I always wanted to do the black wheels I just couldn't really be bothered and didn't really have the time, but now that they're done, that's <laughs> looking, that's looking pretty beefy, man. I'm liking it. Alrighty, and there you have it. I've got about three coats on this thing in total. Uh, not 100% dry, still a little tacky, but you get the idea that I'm going for here. So as you can see, a very glossy finish. Um, you can see a little bit of dimples where there was like heavy corrosion and pitting and stuff like that. Um, but overall, I'm hoping that this glossy finish is going to help the snow just slide right off. Now, again, I'll probably use some cooking spray or something like that. Some sort of like, uh, you know, biodegradable lubricant um, in the event that it still sticks to this blade. But nonetheless i'm pretty happy with the way that this thing looks so i'm gonna let this thing dry but i'm gonna throw in a couple of clips of what this thing looks like attached to the g35 um throw those in right now and uh yeah you guys let me know what you think um really this this little task here was uh just to make my life a little bit easier with these side sills here and then the paint that was just kind of me to make it look a little bit pretty now i'm not planning on selling this uh this snow plow here but if i do keeping it nice and uh in good shape you know it'll, it'll help the sale i guess when the time comes but that's pretty much it for today's video so if you guys did enjoy this one don't forget to smash that like button it's a little echoey in this side of the garage when there's no car i think i'm going to be painting the lower uh, side skirt on the G35 in a uh, gloss black probably use some rust-oleum for that just to kind of match the uh, body color since I was doing some welding and some painting today it kind of inspired me to uh, I guess uh, finish a few projects that I did have in mind now, I still do want to turn the uh, G35 snowplow into a pickup truck um, the problem is I wanted to get it done before it snowed because once the snow comes that thing's going to be just sitting outside and uh, I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to be able to make the the complete swap from a coupe to a pickup truck in time before the winter comes so that one's probably going to have to uh, wait until next year but I did get some inspiration again uh, so who knows we might make some stuff happen but with that being said I'm your boy Dinali aka Don Squally so I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, this little maintenance video um, for those of you guys who are stoked for some G35 snowplow videos, I know that they didn't do all that great last year, but, um, but we'll still throw a couple up there if anything eventful happens. Um, yeah. So as always, I'm your boy Dinali, aka Don Squally. I just want to say thank you guys for watching and we're going to catch y'all mofos in the next one, man. Peace.